Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Fall has returned for us today after a pretty strong cold front moved through yesterday afternoon and last night. And yeah, you pretty much knew when it moved through because those winds were howling out of the northwest. Thankfully, we didn't have any severe weather. We had a few showers, a few thunderstorms. But now that line of showers and storms across portions of Arkansas, heading all the way back throughout portions of Illinois. And we are looking at some cooler temperatures behind this front. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 40s back towards Kansas City, lower 40s in Denver, mid 50s, Oklahoma City and Tulsa. But heading in to tonight heading into tomorrow morning many areas will be dropping into the 40s well here's a look at the countdown yeah we show this every couple of weeks or so halloween now 33 days away the time change when we fall back 34 days away and thanksgiving is 59 days away sky is mostly cloudy for us this morning we've got temperatures this morning in the mid 50s with that light north wind dew points this morning in the lower 50s if you're headed out for a walk or run this morning might need to take again uh, maybe that sweater light jacket or sweatshirt this morning, but dress in layers because we're going to have temperatures this afternoon in the 70s, which is just going to be feeling awesome out there for us. So here's a look at some other temperatures. 68 up in Bartlesville today. Nice fall day around Grand Lake and Grove at 66, 69 today. McAllister 70 today in Oak Mulgee. Great evening to head outdoors. Sky will be clear. Mid, uh, upper 60s around 7. By about 10 o'clock, temperatures around 60. And check out the lows tomorrow morning. Yes, many of you out there may be uh, turning that heat on for the first time as temperatures around Bartlesville, Bristow, Tahlequah, lower 40. So that's going to be the coldest temperatures we have had so far this autumn. I think in Tulsa, 48 will be that low, mid 40s heading down towards McAllister. So heavy jackets, maybe even the coat tomorrow morning, but then you'll be able to shed that coat tomorrow afternoon as high temperatures are going to be back in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Now heading into Wednesday, we're going to have a warm up. Temperatures are going to be climbing in the 80s, but late Wednesday night into Thursday. The next cold front moves in just in time for the first day of October, which is Thursday, when temperatures are going to be in the 60s and 70s. If you're thinking about this upcoming weekend, I know we've just got through a weekend, uh, but uh, heading into this weekend, looking pretty good. Low 70s, rain chances Saturday night. And then heading into Sunday, temperatures in the mid 70s. So all in all, your upcoming weekend forecast looking in good shape. No rain chances through Friday. Again, we do welcome in October for Thursday, but late Saturday night, heading into Sunday, chances for some showers with temperatures in the 70s and lows in the 50s for Saturday and Sunday morning.